I am so excited for this video today because I am going to talk about jewelry trends and I really love jewelry, especially earrings. And I do love all the trends that are happening this year. And some of them have been trending for a little while and some of them are pretty new. And some of them have actually gotten really big that you can find a lot of options out there. So I'm gonna talk about everything from necklaces and earrings to rings and bracelets. So you are going to get it all today. And if you're new around here, my name is Jamie. Welcome to my channel. I would love it if you gave this video a thumbs up if you like it and also hit that subscribe button if you have not yet and the little bell to get notifications so you don't miss any of my content. And we will go ahead and jump in and look at all of these jewelry trends. One of my favorite earring trends that I want to talk about are hoop earrings. And I know they have been on trend for a little while and I also know that they are pretty classic. And if you love hoop earrings, they probably stay in your wardrobe for years and years and years because I just think it's something simple and easy to throw on. Now, they're going to vary in sizes. So the very, very large hoops are big and trending. And then the really small ones are trending as well. So right now you could choose probably just about any size that you want to go with. And there are going to be plenty available. But I wanted to talk about Huggies because Huggies are something that I was not that familiar with until last year. And I actually really love Huggies. I think they're fun. If you don't know what that is, just an earring that's really small and kind of hugs your earlobe, which I have these Huggies from Kendra Scott. And I was, I was actually surprised that I still saw them on our website. They're the Livy Huggies and they're just a really nice hoop that has some cubic zirconia in it and then it has another additional hoop next to it. And I think they actually have a new pair of Huggies that I will show you and I'll link below that are super cute. But I have these in silver and gold and these are kind of my daily go-to earring and they are such good quality. They have not even turned and I have had these for a year. So uh, Kendra Scott is really great quality. If you've never tried their products, this is not an ad. I just really love Kendra Scott. But I also wanted to try out something from Amazon. So I decided to order this hoop earring set that comes with six hoop earrings. And some of these I've opened, some of them I haven't, and I've worn a couple of these. And I wanted to show you the packaging because it comes in six bags and it comes in this bag. And it was not expensive at all. I think it was under $20. And they are gold plated and they come in various sizes. So if you want a variety of hoop earrings, I thought this was a great little set and it had pretty good reviews. So I think one of the biggest trends this year are pearls. I am finding pearls on just about everything, not just jewelry, but accessories and shoes. And I just think that pearls are really feminine and really pretty. And I know a lot of women think they're very classic and certain pearls are, but you're finding a lot of trendier jewelry with pearls on them. And so I wanted to show you a few of those options. Of course, the earrings that I have on are freshwater pearls and they are another trend, which is that shoulder sweeping earring. And I talked about this in another video, but I love these linear, long fun earrings because I do love statement earrings as well as the smaller earrings. So I, I kind of go to both ends of the spectrum and you might too. So these were really lightweight and fun. I got them from Nordstrom. They're by Etika and they're super nice and not expensive. So I was very, very impressed when I got them in and I thought these were a lot of fun and a great way to wear a pearl a, a little bit of a modern way. And then I also found a couple of other things. I found these earrings on Amazon, which are a, it's a CC, like the Chanel earrings, but the C is kind of twisted and they looked a little cool. So I was like, I'm going to try those. And they have a little pearl in the middle and I've worn, I've worn these like crazy too. And I've had no problems with these and I thought they were adorable. And then these are not a jewelry item because I think the you can find all kinds of different pearl necklaces and things, which I do not have any, but if I like any, I will link some for you below. But I did want to show you, I got these on Amazon and they are little hair ties that come in three different colors. One's an ivory, one's a pink and one's a tan. 
and they are just adorable and I have been wearing these in my hair now I do have to say you have to be careful when you pull them out especially if you have curly hair that gets knotted like mine it can get caught in the little pearl so I'm just careful but you could put this around a top bun that you have you know and I just thought they were a lot of fun and I've been wearing these and haven't had any issues they're not falling apart or anything and I think they were under ten dollars so that'd be a fun way to add pearls to your wardrobe if you don't want it in jewelry you could do it with a cute little accessory so I really wanted to put these necklaces on while I talked about this next trend because I wanted you to see them on which I think they are just so cool but the trend is to wear layered chain necklaces so you have three different chains or two different chains and you layer them together and I actually found some sets on Amazon that I thought were really great and the cool thing about them is they come in specific length so you have the smaller a little bit longer and then longer chain so you have to wear them like this each time I have them hooked on the longest part so they they don't get any longer but they can get shorter and I thought that was really great and makes layering your necklaces a lot easier than trying to figure out you know what length to put them to where they look right so I thought that was good and there is a set on Kendra Scott that is a little bit more expensive and is very similar to this that you can take a look at that will be a little bit better quality but this one is uh, 14 karat gold plated and it you know I haven't worn it a ton but it hasn't turned or anything and it looked really pretty and feels decent quality I did order another one because I wanted to look at the one that had an initial on it so they have this set that you can get with your initial and I thought this one was really cute but if you look at it the gold on it is a little bit darker it's 18 karat gold plated and it's a really yellow gold really dark yellow gold almost like an antique gold look and I prefer the little bit lighter gold look but either way just so you know that when you're ordering they might look a little bit different when you get them in and I most of the stuff I've gotten at 18 karat gold has been a little darker and then the 14 has been a little bit lighter so another chain necklace trend that has been going really strong for the past few seasons is the chunky chain necklace and I have originally seen really big choker style chains which I love I think they're beautiful a lot of them are a little heavy for my neck because I just get a little bit sensitive with heavier jewelry which is why I don't wear a lot of necklaces but I found this chunky chain and this is called a curb chain so it has a little bit of a dressier feel to it and I could not believe how nice this chain looked and it's from Amazon you know I've been on an Amazon kick trying to find some good quality pieces and this one I thought was really nice it had really good reviews I watched some videos that people did on it and if you like this curb chain then this would be a really good option and it is it's nice and chunky and a little bit heavy but not too heavy it was actually really comfortable on and I really I really enjoyed wearing it now I'm on the fence of whether or not I love this style chain so I'm still thinking about it and you should let me know in the comments what you think of the look of this chain there is a trend that I did not know was popular in the year 2000s or a Y2K trend. If you don't know what a Y2K trend, it's year 2000s trends and they are back. And one thing that I just did not know and did not remember wearing were padlocks on my jewelry. And I don't know if you remember the little lockets. I guess we had them maybe on charm bracelets or something, but I don't remember wearing them on necklaces. And I've seen a lot of padlocks on jewelry these days and it may be because you know I thought maybe it was a locket for Valentine's Day but it's actually something that is a trend that's going on right now and I just thought it was kind of interesting and would mention it and I did notice that Kendra Scott had some jewelry that had padlocks on it so um, this let me know if you remember this type of jewelry because I don't have any and I really didn't remember it until I started doing some research and looked it up but I thought it was kind of fun and unique if you want to add a little lock or something to your necklace or buy a chain necklace with a lock on it I don't know might be kind of cute so now I want to talk about a couple of bracelets that are on trend and of course the chain bracelets are on trend I do have to talk about those and wearing multiple stacked bracelets that are chains are also on trend just like the necklaces 
But one of the biggest trends that's coming back are bangles. And I have not gotten back into this trend. I have had bangles throughout the years. I remember wearing them when I was younger. And this is a big 80s trend as opposed to the 90s trend. So there's a little bit of 80s getting sprinkled into trends. And I have seen a lot of bangles on Amazon and a lot of them are plastic bangles and you're stacking them up the arm. They have been on the runways for the past two seasons, I'm pretty sure, maybe even past three seasons, but they were definitely there this season again. And I would love to know if you love bangles and you're going to do this trend this season. Another big trend, which is a year 2000s or Y2K trend, and that's the cuff bracelets. And I really, really love this trend. I have seen a lot of really amazing cuff bracelets that I'm interested in. I have not bought any yet, but I'm on the hunt because I'd like to find one for this next year that I can wear and a good quality one. So if you have any recommendations for a good cuff bracelet, that would work for a small arm, please let me know because I have definitely been looking and I've seen some, but just have not settled on one just yet. Another fun trend that I would definitely put in the chunky jewelry category are cocktail rings. And I remember wearing cocktail rings in the 80s and the 90s, and I absolutely love them. I am glad they are back. And I'm on the hunt to find one for this season that I love. So if you see something or have seen something that you like, please let me know. But I think this is just a fun way for self-expression. It's a fun way to just add an accessory or something very interesting to your outfit. If you don't love earrings or bracelets, but you love rings, then you should definitely jump on board with this one. So I actually had to do some research on this next trend and look up the pronunciation. And I wanted to know the history of this because I had no idea about this ring. And it's a signet ring. And if you don't know about signet rings, then you should definitely Google signet ring history or history of signet rings because there is a ton of history on these rings and they were originally worn on the pinky with the family crest on it and you would actually dip it in wax for a signature which i thought was kind of cool but we've gotten way past that now and now they're more of just a fashion accessory and instead of being worn on the pinky you can still wear them on the pinky but they come in all sizes so you'll find some that are small to put on the pinky or you'll find some that are a little chunkier and larger and they're wearing them on the middle finger and the ring finger. So I thought this was a very neat ring and you know, stacking your rings and wearing multiple rings is also popular. So you could put it in there with some of your other rings and you can even put your initials, you can have your initials engraved on the top of it because it has a flat top to it. And it's just, the ones I've seen are mainly gold, but you can find them in silver as well. But really fun thing to look up so look it up and i'm thinking about adding this as well but i'm just not sure but i do think it is something fun and it's something that i think could be very classic that you could keep in your wardrobe for a really long time so those are not all the trends but they're all of my favorite trends that will be out this season so i hope you enjoyed this i would love to know which one is your favorite and if you are interested in anything in this video, I will link it all for you below. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. And thank you for watching. If you want to check out any of my other videos, I will link one here that you can click on and it'll take you straight to it. And please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications so you don't miss any of my content. So love your neighbor, be kind, and I will see you next time.